Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about Gladys Smith, better known as America's Sweetheart, the girl with the curls, Mary Pickford. Mary Pickford was a very, very popular actress during the 10s and 20s of the previous century. In fact, she was the most popular actress in uh, motion pictures at the time. She was the first actress to be listed to have her name featured in the production of the movie. And it is said that only Charlie Chaplin was more popular than she during that era in film. She was also the first person ever to win a Academy Award for Best Actress and she was just hugely, hugely popular overall. One of the things that was best known or most iconic about her was her hair. She had dark blonde hair and she had it, she always wore it in these gorgeous, gorgeous ringlet curls. Um, she is known as the girl with the curls, uh, the girl with golden hair. There was a lot of fixation on her hair and because women wore their hair very short in that period, especially in the 20s, and she still had that long spiral curly hairstyle, she was often cast for roles of children or young women. Those were also her most popular roles, although they weren't necessarily the roles she enjoyed playing most and that she wanted to play. Um, she is best known for playing children and kind of these childlike roles. In fact, in the 20s, when silent movies transitioned into talkies or the talkies became more popular, she got off her curls in an attempt to be seen as a more kind of mature woman and be able to be cast for more mature roles and to be able to kind of transition into talkies, which was the downfall of many an actress in that time. It wasn't extremely successful. She never reached the fame that she had um, in silent movies with her talkies, but by that time she was firmly established as a great actress and a true beauty beacon, so today I'm going to try and recreate her iconic look. Of course, main focus is on the hair, but I'm going to start with the makeup because that is pretty iconic as well. She has this typical 20s face going on, so yeah, let's begin with a layer of foundation to even out my skin tone and then some concealer to conceal my dark circles and any spots that I may have. And when everything is powdered down, I'm going to work on my eyebrows. Now, Mary Bickford has these typical pencil-thin 20s eyebrows, kind of droopy, sad eyebrows. So I'm going to draw mine in just very thinly and extend them at the end, um, really going downwards to kind of create that sad expression. And then I'm going to go over with an eyebrow gel to kind of pinch them in and make them a little bit thinner again as well. So I'm going to brush my hairs upwards from the bottom and then downwards from the top. And this is going to create the most thin eyebrow I can naturally create with my eyebrows. So moving on to the eyeshadow, um, depending on the role of course this changes, but I, in many of her photos you can see her with a dark eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take this dark grey eyeshadow and apply it all over my eyelids with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to again kind of accentuate that sad facial expression by kind of making my eyeshadow droop downwards on the outside and making it a little bit higher towards the inner end of my eyebrows. And then I'm going to take a smaller eyeshadow brush and also apply this eyeshadow underneath my eyelid, again trying to kind of drag it downwards um, on the outside. And then a little layer of mascara on the top lashes only is going to finish this look off. Okay, so for the lips, Mary Pickford has very thin lips, um, which was the popular look back then. So I'm just going to cancel mine out with a little bit of concealer. And then I'm going to take a dark red lip pencil and I'm going to draw in my lips in that 20s shape, um, much thinner than my own, but focusing on a pointy cupid's bow. And that is the makeup pretty much done. So for the hair, uh, I thought long and hard about how to make these spiral curls, these Mary Pickford spiral curls, and I figured out that the only way I can really do this properly on my hair is by making rag curls. I recently uploaded a video on my channel all about how to make rag curls, so you can go check that out if you like, if you're interested. I want to recreate these curls, but that is the look that I am starting with. So my hair has just come out of these rag curls. I haven't done anything else with it. Um, if you like, you can just use a thin curling iron and create these as well. But for me, just rag curls works a little bit better. But Mary Pickford has 
the top of her hair curled as well and it's a little bit messy kind of fluffy curls I don't know if it's natural or how they did it but I'm going to try and recreate the look with a curling iron and I'm just going to take the smallest curling iron I have and just curl the top part of my hair that is straight right now so I'm going to make a curl each time and then roll it up and pin it to my head and I'm just going to leave the tail that is already curled hanging and I'm going to go all over the top of my hair with this until everything is curled, then give this a couple of minutes to completely cool down. Then I'm going to take out all the bobby pins again, let down all of my hair, and then I'm going to go over the top of my hair with a boar bristle brush. So just brush everything out to make this kind of fluffy and big and kind of give that typical Mary Pickford top of the head feel. <laughs> so don't be afraid to make this really fluffy. So in the process, my spiral curls have got a little bit messed up. So I'm just going to go over, um, create a little section of hair, brush it through once, and then remodel my hair into these curls just by twisting it around my finger. It helps really well. Um, bra curls bounce back incredibly well, so you don't have to worry about ruining them. You can always go back to the spiral curl. So then I took the top of my hair on the opposite side of my parting and I'm going to pin this back on the side just to make sure that my hair stays in this nice side parting and doesn't fall into my face. And I'm going to try and hide this bobby pin really well so you can't really see it at all. And there is your Mary Pickford style all done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Beauty Beacons videos. If there is any historical beauty icon that you would like me to recreate the looks of, then please leave a request in the comments below. I will look through and pick someone up for next time. I will thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!